So really quickly, I'm going to have a link down below in the description box to IGN's guide on how to find 13 early fairy stones and three port crystals. There's no sense in me trying to make that video. I'm just not that far along. It's all about sharing the information and helping people out. But here's my own footage here. Port crystals as per the game's description. You use a fairy stone and it'll instantly transport you to the location of a port crystal. Port crystals are permanent fixtures of cities and towns, but you may also place your own port crystals at destinations of your choice. You may have up to 10 port crystals placed at various locations throughout the entire world at any one time. Once placed, a port crystal can actually be recovered if you wish to move it somewhere else. Permanent port crystals in cities and towns must be interacted with at least once before they become available as fairy stone destinations. Now again, I'm going to have the link down below in the description box, but I, I wanted to show you this. And where I'm at right now. So Vernworth, as far as I understand, is uh, basically the first big, big town that you'll come across in the game uh, a little over an hour, depending on how fast, if you're skipping dialogue and all that kind of stuff. In the early hours of the game, you'll come across uh, Vernsworth here, okay? Uh, you, you seriously just cannot miss it. And again, once you're here and you look at your map, there's the Merchant Quarter. It's right here southwest, or right below the letter M, sorry, in Merchant uh, Quarter. And you'll see that icon right there. It's called the Port Crystal Vernworth. So once you've tapped on one of these Port Crystals and you've unlocked it, if you have Fairy Stones on you, what you then do is go to your items, go all the way down to where you see Fairy Stone. You can also buy these from some vendors for 10,000 gold. You would select it, you would click Use, and then it brings you to your map and you will be able to go through a list of all unlocked port crystals. As of this making of this video, I only have one port crystal, but at least I'm able to show you what it looks like, and I'm not going to use it, but then you throw it up in the air, it consumes it, and it uh, makes you fast travel. So this game has fast traveling. It's very limited. You can use the, you know, the buggy with the bison and, and the cart or whatever it's called, the ox cart or something like that. And use these as well. I don't know if it's easy to become like a millionaire later on in the game and you're just able to buy like a plethora of these fairy stones. But this was just to kind of give you a gist as to how the whole system works. Okay, so there you have it. If you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. And I'll bend it in half, twist it, and break it off in your ass. And don't forget to check out the link down below. Uh, which is something I am currently watching right now, where it lists from IGN 13 fairy stones and where you can get three port crystals. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.